Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect an Xbox Series controller to a Mac. So uh, we're gonna dive right into it. We're gonna use a wireless method. The one thing to keep in mind is that uh, this might not work for everybody. And the reason I mean by that is, this is a Bluetooth connection, that's not a problem. The obstacle you might run into is not connecting to the Mac, but using the app or service within the Mac itself. So if you're trying to make it work with a certain video game or some sort of application within the Mac, if it doesn't work, it's just meant that it's not compatible with it. So um, just be mindful that you might run into that challenge. Nothing you can really do outside this video. So the first thing you want to do is power on the controller itself. You want to press and hold the Xbox controller logo button on the controller itself. Now, if you do have a console, an Xbox Series console, it will turn it on as it just did behind me. Um, and you can just pretty much ignore that. You can just walk over to your Xbox console, press and hold the Xbox button. Sorry. So the next thing you want to do is uh, press and hold the Xbox logo button on the console itself. Just hold it for a few seconds and eventually it will shut down. Now we're done with the console. Now we want to get the controller into pairing mode. To do this is super easy. You just got to press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller for a few seconds until the Xbox logo button on the controller starts to flash. When it starts to flash, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. Now I want to jump over to your Mac. Okay, so jumping over to the Mac, what you want to do is open up the system preferences menu. And then from here, you want to tap on Bluetooth. Let the Xbox controller appear. And here you see we have Xbox wireless controller, hit connect. And that's pretty much it. It's now connected with the controller. So as an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to get this working with Steam. So you want to open up your Steam client and then preferably enter big picture mode by just hovering the little icon on the top right. Tap on that. Eventually it'll open up big picture mode and you can use the Xbox controller to navigate the screen as I'm doing right now. Uh, if you want to do an additional configuration for whatever reason, you can use your mouse or the controller by going up to the gear icon at the top. And then from here, you want to scroll down to controller settings under the controller menu. And you can configure your controller and uh, whatever functions you need from here. Now, if you want to connect it back to your Xbox console, just simply double tap the pairing button at the top of the controller. Light stop flashing immediately because it's paired back to my console. And that's a wrap. So as you can see, it's incredibly easy. I do want to mention to check out my social network links in the video description, as well as my website link in the video description. Hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.